What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about the price prediction for Joystream, which is a content creator platform that is a Web3 in the Web3 space. It's meant for to be a decentralized platform similar to YouTube but rewarding creators for creating original content. So if we check out the price, uh, it is down 3% today, but it had a nice little run up here as you can see the price was at uh, 0 0.002 had a nice runaway up all the way to five almost six cents which was amazing um and it's kind of co consolidating right now in the uh, space of 0 0.082 so in all it had a 2x actually quite more than that because uh more of a 4x if we look at 0 0.002 versus the current price right now at 0 0.008. In the last year, it's done pretty much the same. It's been a platform for quite a while now. And I'm gonna be getting over, getting into what my price prediction is. But if we look at the current trend, you can see that it had a nice little run up, a little bit of a pullback for people taking profits, and then a nice little pump, and again, more people taking profits. If we actually go to Joystream, you can see they are doing quite a bit. Lots of content being produced uh, in all sorts of different projects, crypto gains, quick profits. Uh, everything looks pretty solid. And I've noticed that they are doing a lot more of uh, English content in the front. Previously, uh, there, there is some, I think, Russian here, uh, some Spanish. But uh, definitely some good creators producing amazing content. So uh, very exciting. You can see that they have their creator tokens here where people can earn uh, tokens. Me being featured among the crowd. Uh, one of the highest revenue uh, projects and the highest volume. Uh, we are number one on the uh, channel earnings and we are uh, dominating the situation so pretty exciting stuff already 344 creators so that's pretty exciting to see and it's just doing quite a bit you can see that there are quite a bit of different creators here but what is joystream going to be as my product price prediction you know what it's really hard to say um, and I'll go over my prediction, what I said uh, in a Discord channel about two months ago and where we are today. But if we look at the markets, you can see that they have quite the um, depth chart to protect um, the asset. Essentially, if it needs to drop additional 2%, it is backloaded with, um, with, uh, with uh, Joy. So, it's, it definitely will be a, a little bit harder to push it down going at this moment because there is a lot of you know backloaded joy to be bought up before it can drop any lower so it wouldn't need a significant drop and I mean <clears throat> a couple thousand <clears throat> in selling isn't a lot to be honest I mean we can look at the discord channel let me pull that up real quick and go to the council and see that there is a lot of joy that is open in the markets we can go here and go to elections and on the last election there was a total of almost a million joy that was being voted on so there is a lot of people holding liquid joy that could be dumped at any time uh, so if we look at the half a million here compared to the only 2,000 that would need to drop to uh, decrease the price, um, yeah, there is a lot, let's just say there is a lot of joy floating around in the world. And that's a good thing. We love joy. So as you can see, we have the largest joy uh, single vote was 113,000. So if that was safe, that single vote decided, you know what, it didn't go the way I wanted, then um, that's 100,000. That's about a 90% drop at 2%. So what's, what's 100,000? Let's do the math. You 
you have a 113, it's 50, I mean, it's just simple math, divided, is that right? uh, divided by two, 56, um, and then we times that by 2%, oops, so really it's, because uh, it's 56 times, actually, yeah, it's a lot, 56 times times 2 would be over 100%, but obviously you can't drop it below 100%, so it's gonna have a diminishing returns. But uh, it definitely could go uh, much lower, is what uh, it comes down to, especially if this liquid joy of a, a sing just one single vote uh, decides to get out. Um, I mean, there is there was 67 votes, um, only 41 were revealed, so you do have quite a bit of liquid joy ready to be dumped. Uh, at any given time but there is some hope that I see and that's with the ambassador program uh, we'll go over what I predicted quite a bit uh, a while ago but let's go ahead and pull up the latest ambassadors because I think what they're doing is quite uh, quite interesting we can see that um, right here we have some we are going to be giving you more options on earning, and we had a great discussion and hardworking in the background. Your input is molding the program to keep the ideals flowing. That's that's great news. One thing I'm excited about is going forward is to earn higher amounts of joy, which is exciting because who doesn't love free money? And by choosing unlock periods of higher stakes and rewards, the more options, the better. So essentially, the people, if they want a lower earning, they can cash out right now. If they believe in it long term, they can essentially stake or have a unlocking period, which is quite exciting. So that will that will hold the price of joy, uh, so that people aren't dumping if they you know if they want to. Uh, so we've been collecting your ideas, and we really want to try some of them out, analyzing to see their performance, and then adjusting towards what works and what doesn't. Which is smart because obviously marketing is all about testing and the more times you can test and the more you can see what works then once you find something that works you double down on it so very exciting stuff um, i'll keep you all posted on developments and see what happens so everyone is excited in the ambassador program so very exciting stuff uh, what excites me is the tasks has anyone looked at this and all of the tasks you can create a banner for uh joystream you can create a twitter thread uh, you can create educational content like this um, to add to your Twitter, host an AMA, which my friend Crypto Bullseye, we do MA, uh, AMAs quite a bit, not really AMAs, but more uh, collaborations and talking about uh, different content, so definitely check him out. Uh, host a webinar explaining Joystream, and then collaborations with other ambassadors, and that's what me and uh, uh, Crypto Bullseye or Keith does write a blog post I've done that multiple times on medium and just all sorts of great uh, ways of earning and so I'm very excited to see what this does um, they still run into oh actually they still run into the problem of people that are selling joy that are content creators that are workers that are the council that infrastructure uh, tools uh, partnerships you know all of the other things that um, need to be sold in order to uh, pay for different things so definitely um, kind of have to weigh the pros and the cons of what possibly could happen uh, if we look at just in the last month uh, it, joy is down uh, about 20 percent and in the last 17 days about 11 and just today three uh, percent so uh, that's essentially that uh, push down in joy I mean which is kind of sad because if if you had joy and you uh, decided to dump it on say Bicna on uh, economy XT bitmart um, gate IO it would drop it a lot faster and then essentially it would bypass this because a lot of these are all on oracles and they talk to each other um, so they update the price kind of in real time but um, you know some aren't so that's why like this it's backfilled quite a bit um, and it continuously continuously drops 
um, which is, you know, it is what it is, but they do need to think of something coming up. And I think that Crypto Bullseye uh, is doing his best in order to facilitate that and very exciting stuff right there. Um, as far as what I predicted, this was a uh, proposal that I suggested and me personally, I am going to be doing this myself uh, without the help of Joystream or Joy in general uh, or Gleave in, in general because um, one, it's not needed and I can do it myself. Uh, and two, it's something that uh, I actually like, joy, I enjoy doing. So I, I find joy in it, one could say. So pretty um, exciting stuff, but this is essentially what it was. A DAO picks a batch of creators, they offer joy uh, for a, um, this was when I was talking about um, some kind of a, a grant system or a, uh, a way to invest into creators. But from then, uh, nothing came of it. Uh, a lot of people thought it was a great idea. Uh, and then uh, people that uh, kind of see, actually own the project, said it was not so great. So, which is fine. I mean, it's totally, it's not my project. But, uh, you know, people typically um, that do crypto, um, that have no business experience and kind of just throw shit at a wall, um, don't really understand how business and revenue streams and uh, how to actually make a profitable business. Uh, I mean, just look at the dot-com bubble. I mean, the dot-com bubble was literally the crypto bubble. A billion crypto projects that have no actual revenue streams um, expecting to have these crazy valuations. So, uh, but this is pretty much what he said. Uh, he was nervous that Joy could possibly do a thousand X and so they would be iffy and even if it was in USDT, why would people want a loan um, on Gleave? And so how does this improve? And so my response was yes, uh, you would be essentially become like a shark tank of crypto. Uh, it doesn't have to be Joy, it could be like USDT which I've talked about because it's uh, like Joe Rogan where you create Gleave originals or Spotify originals and you're able to uh, take part of that. I've since decided I'm going to do my own thing and uh, I said pretty much Joy isn't going to do an ad, 20x, 100x anytime soon. I actually said they won't even do a 20x right here. It would more than likely drop 50% and if we just look at the numbers here uh, if we go to Joystream, you can see that on the day I said on May 16th, and as of today, it has dropped 41.47, uh, what is it, 41.47%. And if you, I don't know if you guys can see that, if we just zoom in here, boom, we have uh, May 16th, today is the 9th, uh, no, it's not the 9th, but um, I pulled it out to the 9th, but it is down 41% from uh, when I said that. So definitely um, something, I mean, I hate being right all the time with all these crypto projects, but um, you know, I just, you know, I just happen to know how money works and how like, if you don't have a business model and you don't have revenue stream, you're feeding off something, you're feeding off investors. So, you know, don't listen to me, but uh, yeah, so, as we can see, already down 50%. And that's what I said. I mean, uh, why do people get a loan? Because some people get a loan because they're broke. And some people get a loan because they like to speed up time. And so using other people's money. I mean, this is what we did when we were uh, in real estate. I mean, we still are in real estate. But when we bought our first house, we bought the first one. We bought the second one. Then we used the cash out refinance, pulled out the equity and used uh, some of our own money, bought our first four unit, and then I like to say we buy three, get one free in real estate. And so we did cash out refinances on all three properties and used that cash out refinance to buy uh, the fourth property, which was another four unit. And so using OPM or other people's money is the best way to create leverage. Um, plus it, it doesn't cost you an opportunity cost because one, you're using other people's money, which allows you to have your own money in case another opportunity comes. But you know, don't don't listen to me. I'm just a YouTuber. But um, yeah, so um, 
I pretty much went into how the project I'm gonna what I wanted to do which was right here a yeah, bounty board and um, that's what they are kind of doing uh, now but it's not um, what I suggested at the very beginning um, so I'm going to take my own um, my own bounty and create my own bounty board and that's what I'm focusing on now and it's glorious so I'm definitely will be releasing more information about that here in the coming days so super excited about that um, as far as Gleave and my price prediction um, I definitely see it going uh, down uh, under a cent uh, well it's under our cent already but it's, it's definitely gonna go under uh, 0 0.002 and uh, it's gonna keep draining unless something else happens and at this moment there's nothing else happening you can believe all you want that they're doing something um, and that's great and it doesn't take a lot of money to pump the token whatsoever I mean we can see that seven hundred dollars like a couple thousand dollars uh, twenty thousand dollars would make this go up like twenty percent thirty forty percent fifty percent not a lot of money needs to be taken however the caveat of that is let me bring you guys in here close there's a lot of open joy in the market and do you want to be the one who is being dumped on or do you want to um, take a risk personally I am going to keep producing joy content because it is a place for creators and I think that they have the wrong business model but I do believe that there are a lot of people that want it to win and if they can get their stuff together and do something that is actually a business model instead of throwing shit at a wall then it might actually do something but until they do that uh, I don't see it going anywhere so um, I mean we can just look at if you just read the council uh, documentation it, it, they can't they don't even know what they are they think they're a meme coin or a social fly coin or uh, a video platform I maybe next is AI so who knows but um, my price prediction for uh, joy stream at this very moment with what I see is not bleak or it is bleak it is not one of joy happiness and love it is of of dumpiness and dumpiness so that's it peace